Hello everyone. Um, it's quite exciting today because I've got a new toy. New piece of kit. The Derwent Metallic Paint Pan Set. Looks interesting. I've only had a very quick go at this before on white paper. Um, so I'm going to do my usual thing and sort of have a look at all the colours, see what they look like on white paper and on black paper this time as well. Um, it says shimmering metallic paint outstanding on light and dark paper so give this a go let's open up the pack okay comes in a nice little box a little mixing palette there key to all the colors also comes with a water brush pen which you can fill up if you want to use that I'm just going to use my own paintbrush today. Very handy though, if you wanted to take that out and about with you. And a little foam pad at the side there, presumably to take off excess water from your brush or something like that. So there's the set. Looks very interesting, looks very shimmery at the moment. Let's try it out. Okay. Just going to move this up a bit so you can see. it okay right so the first one I've got here is the gold just called gold let's have a look pick up some on the brush and I'm gonna try this on the white paper first I'm not sure where you can see this because we're in the middle of winter and I've got the studio lights on. Maybe the lights will show it up even more. I'm not really sure. Right, so I can see that pretty well on the white paper. Looks good. But the interesting thing will be when it dries. To see how it dries. Let's try some on the black paper. Wow. Certainly shows up on the black paper. Okay, so that's the gold. Second one is the silver. Okay, you need to sort of, let me show you this. It's a little bit difficult to get enough up on the brush. It's hard to see how much is coating the brush. Silver? No, I made a mistake. Sorry, this is the pale gold, not the silver. It looks silver when it's in the box. Pale gold. Wow, that's quite impressive when you get it onto the black paper. Now, it's quite difficult to get it to cover evenly, presumably because of the the grains, the granules, mm -hmm. metallic granules floating in the water. Okay, this one's the silver. Be quite easy to muddle some of these up actually in the box. Um, because they're quite light and pale in colour. So be careful they don't all fall out of your box. How many people has that happened to? They all fall out of the box palette. Drop them on the floor. These all come out. And you never get them back in the same place again. Some companies now have it written on the side. Thankfully. On the side of each little pan they have got the colour written on the side. They didn't used to. So that's the silver. This is ice blue. Sounds gorgeous. We'll see. Oh yeah, I like that one. I just love blues. Full stop, really. Blues and purples. Ice blue. And the next one is just blue. Well, it looks quite dark actually as you put water in there. 
starts to look quite a pair, quite a nice dark blue. Wow, I like that one. Gorgeous. Actually, probably looks more impressive on the white paper than the black, but we'll see what happens when it dries. This one's green, which in the box looks like a gorgeous sort of icy green. Almost a cerulean blue, actually. I can see these changing as they dry on the paper. As the water dries out, the metallic pigment seems to become more intense. Like this one, lime gold. Looks quite a bright lime colour. Oh, it's pretty. Very pretty. It doesn't look so bright once you get it onto the paper, which is good because it looks quite sort of acidic green colour in the box. I think it looks quite different at the moment on the white and the black paper. It looks much bluer on the white paper. This one's called Sunset. Lovely name. It's quite orangey. Yeah, it looks pink on there, on the white paper. Let's try it on the black paper. Now I'm wondering what you could use these paints for. Obviously if you're into card making, Christmas cards or something like that, actually hand painted ones. This would be fantastic. But yeah, embellishing paintings maybe. I think maybe less would be more, if you know what I mean. You could overdo it with too much of this. But maybe a subtle use of them. Right, so red. More like a sort of a, an alizarin crimson or something. Looks much more pink on the black paper. See how these are drying? Quite different as they dry. Next one is pink. Looks gorgeous. Let's see what happens. Pale. Let's see if we can, can't get a bit more out. Yeah, sort of a lilac y pink. Not showing up so well on the black at the moment. Oh, and it's wet, but we'll see. Purple. It looks quite grey in the box, but as you start to wet it, it's looking more and more purple. A nice lilac colour. Hmm, pretty. Not showing up a lot on the black, as you might expect, being purple. But maybe when it's dry. And the last one is called Deep Graphite. Now, sounds interesting to me. Interesting to see the difference on the white paper and the black paper with this one. Looks a bit dull at the moment on the white paper. Remains to be seen as it dries. And the deep graphite, as you'd expect, 
hardly showing at all at the moment on the black paper. So while those are drying, I'll show you the box again so that you can see the colours now. They should be yeah, they're shimmering under my studio lights quite nicely, particularly the sunset there. The sunset and the lime gold, really shimmering. While they're wet, you can see the colours much more vividly as they dry in the pan. They don't look so bright and it's a bit more difficult to tell one colour from the next. Okay, so if I pick this up, not quite dry yet, I don't want to use the hair dryer because of the noise on the video. So if I move it around in the light on the white paper, the gold quite shimmery and the pale gold and the silver. The ice blue fairly shimmery, metallic look. Uh, the blue and the green are not quite showing up so much of that kind of iridescence. I don't know if you can see that. Sunset still drying a bit, but it looks like that's going to be very shimmery. So I'd say the most dramatic probably for showing up on the white, it's not white exactly the paper, but you know what I mean. It's kind of cream colour, watercolour paper. The ones that seem to sort of show up the most, the metallic look, the pale gold, the silver, the ice blue and the sunset are looking promising. Graphite not at all yet, but we can come back to that because it's still pretty wet and the purple. The red doesn't look particularly shimmery, which I guess is what you want from a metallic paint, paint really. But yeah, not looking particularly, all the pink or the green. Well, let's have a look on the black paper. Okay, they really do show up on this black paper, these light colours, don't they? Looking quite lovely, actually, some of them, particularly the blue. But then, as I said, I'm always drawn to blue. And blues, the ice blue, the sunset, really shimmering on here. Very nice, and the lime gold particularly shimmery. Not so much these, the purple and the deep granite. Now I'm going to do some similar experiments with some of the Daniel Smith um, iridescent colours. Um, see what they look like and then we can compare them. I've also got another couple of samples from a different company. I can't even remember the name. It's not a particularly well-known company of gold and silver, which I will also be trying out at some stage. Just about dry now. I'm not that impressed with the granite, either on the black or the white, white creamy coloured paper, really. Or the purple, which is a disappointment, because I was looking forward to the purple. I have to say, probably, my favourites on here would be the blue on the black paper, the pale gold on the whiter paper. It looks pretty. And sunset actually on both white and the black paper. Quite impressive. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm not sure if these are available individually. You'd have to look on the Derwent site because you might, if you can get them individually, you might just like to pick out particular colours that you like rather than buying the whole set. Anyway, I hope this has been useful, useful exercise for me and I'll see you next time. Bye.